Well, hello everybody, Queen Bee here. Welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn Tame and Train update. It has been released, it was released yesterday, and I'm very, very excited to be playing it. There's a new character, there's um, a new animal, uh, we've got dogs now. We can tame and train our animals to do various tasks to help us fight, to help us mine. Um, and uh, we can also breed them for food. So what's not to love? Um, we are going to start a new playthrough. I'm going to just I'm going to stay on a Sabrirus, um, on a, the kind of original default um, game, Me medium difficulty. Mm, no, I'm just going to get yeah. I'm going to go with medium difficulty. I don't want it any easier. I don't want it too hard and testing because my main focus is to unlock the tech and to to get. Um, to a point where we can tame and train the animals. So this isn't going to be a, new, a, a real playthrough where you see every bit of progress. I'm going to be skipping forward quite a bit until we can get uh, the animals. But I will I will include the, the important bits like my base design um, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do, you can see this seed says record drink. Um, this might not be the seed that we play on. I am going to be selective over the um the seed that we use just because i would like a seed where there's a nice open flat area so we're going to go um we're going to choose our people then i'm going to make sure that we've got a decent seed and tell you the seed name when we get um when we get that far when we've made a decision but the people um now i i know who i want to select emlyn is a great cook she has a cheerful personality it permanently increased happiness i still manage to get her depressed very often um but uh, she's also got a good little bit of co a combat she's a backup farmer um she cooks exquisite food hugo is the new character guys and this is why we want hugo not only is he a new character but hugo never fails taming attempts mm-hmm he occasionally teaches, uh, occasionally improves the farming skill of others, but he does get hungry a little bit quicker, so we do need to kind of factor that in. Uh, he was an underpaid zookeeper at the biggest tourist destination known in the solar systems, Galactic Zoo. He loved his animals so much that when the planet was invaded by a hostile mega consortium and war broke out, he remained there and joined the resistance in order to protect them. A renowned veteran, he now travels through the stars on his journey to learn about all the species the cosmos has to offer. So he's interested in combat. So he's, I mean, he's not got very high combat, but he's interested in it. So he should skill up quite quickly. Doesn't give a toss about construction. Uh, we don't need him as a cook. We will be using him as our farmer. He's interested in farming. Um, and um, yeah, that, that's what we're going to go with. Um, so Hugo's our second. So we've got our cook, our farmer, our animal tamer. Um, Quinn is decent at construction. Um, so we're going to be using him as our constructor. He's uh, got fair old skill at crafting. We'll be using him and Samantha in a moment to craft. He's a backup researcher as well. He's got another cheer a cheerful personality, but we managed to get him upset quite a bit. Um, <laughs> and here we go, our researcher, so uh, farmer, no, cook, farmer, animal tamer, constructor, crafter, research and combat for Samantha, intellect of six, combat of five, she's interested in construction so she'll help out Quinn, and uh, she is a vegetarian, and she's got three times work speed when constructed devices or furniture which is very nice and oh yes Quinn is a is an explorer and loves to explore which is going to come in handy very later on now let me just select the right seed and I'll let you know what seed we're going to be playing
Now I'm not going to lie, this actually doesn't look too shabby, uh, first off the bat. We've got a little bit of rock here, I'm not a big fan of that, that's my only quibble. But what we could do, let's knock these trees out and have our base facing this way. We've got corn here, we're going to have to research that. We've got, uh, oh gee, yeah, let's pause. We've got buttermelons there. We've got skin bark there. All things that are very useful. We've got some cotton over here. How about iron and ore and stuff? We've got some over there. We've got some silicon there. We've got fruit bushes. <laughs> some nice um, debris to salvage. Let's have a look. Some rocks there. We've got some more ore over here. Nice shiny rock there to research. Yeah, okay, we're, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. Um, our base. Yeah, 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 yeah. I quite likes this. We're going to first and foremost come in to manage. Um, now at the moment I don't I, I keep them working as much as possible, but we are going to turn off simple priorities and we're just gonna we're gonna put these guys on heel up to a level two. Uh, Quint's gonna be number one on constructing. We're gonna put everyone on level two for cutting. Even Samantha because we don't need her researching yet, but we will do. She will be our researcher. Quinn's not, well, we can probably leave him on three as a research. Those two go on to two for observe. We, uh, we'll leave, no, we'll put people on two for deliver. These are going to stay on three, craft, tailor, assemble, just for now. Emlyn is our cook, so we're going to leave her on that. We're going to put everyone on two, or those guys, apart from our researcher, on two for scavenge. Hugo is our planter and our rancher. At some point, we're gonna we're gonna tame down some of these other these like number twos, um, but yeah, that's that's good for now. That's good. Ooh, look, we can start farming those at some point. Right, next. So my priorities are all sorted. My next thing that I want to do is come into Samantha and I want to say equip the laser pistol, which is just that. You've always got a laser pistol, guys, and you want to give it to your hunter. Um, you're always going to have someone in meltdown. Don't worry about that. That's just part of the course. Um, and uh, let us just come and chop. I was just getting a little bit worried that we weren't going to have some sticks, but... We've got sticks. Now I need to find some grass that we can cut down. Not seeing... Oh, there's some over there. Don't need too much. Um, and let's just chop these these trees down. We don't need too much of that either. Just enough. And uh, somebody can come and mine a bit of stone. Let's put Samantha on uh, mining the rock chunk. So, ah, yes. And um, Hugo has now gotten over his crying. And it's fine because look, survivors de determination, they they all have that. Um, but he's got catharsis as well. So his, his, he has a minus 50 from crash, crash shock, but it's, it's canceled out by catharsis. So they're all very happy because they survived um, the crash and they have survivors um, determination, which is marvelous. Right, storage. I need some stockpiles, so I'm just going to lob those down there. Um, 
shelter. Ooh, we can we can already put this down. That's marvellous. Hmm. Okay, so the grid's facing. Hmm. Well, we can we can work with that. That's fine. I'm gonna pop that there. We're going to pop down our little sleeping spot for four people. So I'm going to pop one there, two, three, four. And uh, then my campfire, I'm going to pop in there. And the reason that I do that is if it rains, your campfire gets put out. But putting it in there will keep it nice and toasty and dry. Now, I'm going to just bring Samantha over here and get her to observe these buttermelons. It's the squash-like plant. I always like to pop a table of chairs outside so they've got somewhere to eat. That makes them happy. Let's start as we mean to go on, get our science bench up. And we'll get our workbench up as well. And the one last thing that I, I always like to throw up quickly, you can see this new ranching tab. Um, at the moment, this is where you get your drying racks. We'll pop that there. And um, if we were to come into manage, you have now got your tamed animal section, which we will have fun with later. Now that fire is up and running, we're going to go in, we're going to click quick recipes, and we're going to say cook for, hmm, no, cook emergency rations until we have four. So we want to keep a nice stock of four. And Samantha's almost done researching the squash-like plant that is otherwise known as the buttermelon. Let's uh, cut some of these down. We are going to need lots of wood, so let's cut those twigs as well. And now that everything's done, all our basics, I'm going to put this landing pod to be scavenged. Now, Samantha, I would like you to just come and observe the tall leafy plant as well. And uh, I think mean, we researched buttermelons. First camp. We put together a camp as quickly as we could, considering the circumstances. We're not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honouring. Let's gather around a campfire accelerate being alive at, at uh, 1900 tonight great idea hugo great idea let's do that i always um thought it was random but it looks to me i've played this quite a few times it looks to me that the one that goes into meltdown tends to be the one to suggest that just a little bit of trivia i might be wrong but i, I think it is um let's get hugo to finish off observing the squash like plant then we can get into Plant the squash like plant. Okay, farming, buttermelon, 75% soil there. Yeah, I think it's pretty much, I don't want to be planting over here. Let's go with the 75% then. Um, and so I'm going to have my buildings here. That's clay. Buildings there. That'll do. We have three of them are unarmed. Uh, we're going to do something about that very soon, but we need to research weapon smithing. Um, do you know what? 
no, we're going to research um, construction basics. Metal, yeah, metal refinement, then weapon smithing, then fortifications. I can see animal taming here, but right now we've we've not got the resources to actually keep animals, so. And we don't have food. Emily needs to cook a bit more. I'm just going to come into here and I'm going to say don't eat any raw food, please. Um, like so. There we go. They're all gathering for the celebration, apart from Quinn, who's being... Oh, oh, and Samantha. And Hugo, who suggested the celebration in the first place. Miserable people. Where was where was the cotton? It was over here, was it? Was it over here? Yeah. Get someone to observe that. Really need some cotton on the go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hugo, go and slaughter the big animal, please. Get it slaughtered. No, Hugo, I've got to butcher it now before this bloody bird eats it all. I'm going to get that butchered because it's just going to unlock some tech for me. <clears throat> right, we've got grain cob. Let's put some grain cob down for a farm. That'll do. Just gonna come in here and we're gonna harvest the buttermelons that I can see. There's not many, but we'll harvest a few. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a few more over here. That'll do. Samantha's almost done researching base construction. Oh no, we have a thunderstorm. Please don't let anybody get struck by lightning. Right, next, construction. Let's get just a smallish room, um, a smallish house. I don't want to build it too big because we've got lots to do. But I think we're going to go, just for now, three by three rooms. Um, so I'm going to go six. By six, seven, bloody hell, eight, nine, six by nine. That's our, that's our housing area. Let's pop a, that was a close call, Hugo. Pop a couple of doors in there. And uh, Samantha, I'm, I, I know you're researching, which is all very well and good. Come over here and uh, observe the cotton, please. I want the, the cotton plant, the bright leaf plant that we're going to find out is cotton. That's down and out. Emlyn, can you come and butcher that? And Hugo, butcher that. Marvellous. We've got meat now. So we've got veg as well. So I'm going to come in and say cook veggie soup um, until we have five and cook meat soup until you have four i'm like i know she doesn't eat meat soup but he gets hungrier 25 percent quicker or eats 25 percent more so i only want it made out of raw red meat look at that butcher that butcher that as well god's easy pickings Um, flying reptile as well. Oh, blimey. Do you know what? I'm going to capitalise here. I want everybody butchering. Smart that. Kill that. Kill it. Shoot it. I'm just waking Quinn up. I want him to butcher that animal. 
He's almost finished on our uh, building. We're only on day four. Marvellous. Housing. I would like some walls made out of sticks. And the bedrooms, as I said, are going to be three by three. So let's uh, do a wall here. Discovery, cloth blossom. Let's just pause this for a moment. We will get some cloth blossom planted up. Perfect. Hugo, get to it. Um, let me just come back here now. Um, we'll, we'll stick wall. Reason I'm using sticks, guys, if you take a look at this quickly, uh, you'll see uh, awful thermal insulation uh, for scrap metal and sticks. Better medium thermal insulation for wood and stone. And we, we want these rooms to get nice and toasty in the winter. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm going to use sticks. I'm just going to put a door there. And a door there. And there. And there. There you go, uh, not Hugo Quinn. Get it done, get it done, get it done. Hugo's at risk of meltdown. I don't particularly care. Hey, Emlyn, come on. Why are you not cooking? She's been pretty useless. Let's, uh, let's say, Emlyn, don't scavenge either. Put her on three for scavenge and three for deliver. She should probably then start cooking. The fuck? 16 aggressive animals. And little old Samantha. Oh, man. Uh, quite bunched up as well. Guys, I'm sorry you're all getting up. Might need somebody to punch them. Ah! Fucked up there, didn't I? Nope. There we go. Attack. Great, so we're down to 11 animals now. Let's get that one. They're just going in and meleeing them to death. There's Hugo getting proper stuck in, even though he's an animal lover. And only Emlyn, no, Hugo is, uh, is bleeding. That's great, we're very happy with that. Let's. Uh, Let's let them go back to sleep. Let's push it on as well. And guys, that's all for this episode of Stranded Alien Dawn's Let's Play for Tame and Train update. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And once again, don't forget to like, comment and sub for the good old YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out my Discord channel. And until next time, stay safe and take care.